welcome to your August vlog. I've tried to film this clip about five times now and tractors and lorries and stuff keep driving past and making the entire pet room shake which is not ideal but I've got so many things coming up this month. It is going to be Hubble's first birthday and I just can't believe he's gone from being that tiny little ball of fluff that tiny little chicken nugget to a full-blown adult cat. It seems like just yesterday that I got him, so I've got a few things planned for his birthday, and I wanted to show you what I've got him later on in the video. We don't entirely know when he was born. I did assign him a birthday, which is the 15th of August, and we're just gonna go with that because I have no idea really how old he was when I got him or when he was exactly born, so his birthday is gonna be the 15th of August, and I just can't believe he's gonna be a year old. It has gone so quick and I know this channel is mostly about my rats and my mice but Hubble is my best friend and hopefully you guys can see how much I love him and how much he does for me in return. Then of course we've got this guy getting neutered. The earliest I could book him in was the 24th of August and that is with the vet that I wanted to use. So a bit of a wait for that but not too long hopefully. Hopefully it should go fairly quickly and he does have Twix so it's not really an emergency situation but we have got that to, well not really look forward to because I'm sure Whisper is not looking forward to it, but we've got that to experience together. And that's gonna to be towards the end of the video, possibly rolling into next month's vlog. So that's what's happening this month. We've got Hubble's birthday. We've got this guy losing his mummy parts, haven't we? Wakey, wakey. Hubble, when did you get so grown up? It's gonna be your birthday soon. You're gonna get lots of treats and presents. Do you even know what a birthday is? No, nope. you got me. I just wanted to show you something really cute. So did you know my merch on Teespring also comes in baby sizes? This is probably the first and last time you'll ever see a baby grow in my house, but my friend Lynn who bred Pudding and Bagel has had a baby and I just thought she needed some rat stuff to initiate her into the rat world because Hopefully she's gonna be a big rat fan, so I thought she needs my merch on a baby crow. This is really hard to do one-handed, but it's so small. It's not actually like the smallest size. I think it's like three to six months, um, but she can go into this and wear this when she's a bit older. And then I also got this little teddy, which is so soft, and I think it's supposed to be a mouse, but we can just pretend it's a rat, and it kind of looks like pudding, so I just wanted to get some really on-brand gifts and show you that my merch comes in baby grows, which is so tiny and it's so cute, but definitely do not tempt me at all to have a baby just to stick it in my merch and rat stuff, because that would be a very bad reason. <laughs> So I'm going to package these up and send them off. I might also send her carrier back that the boys came in because she's got way more use for it than I do. So I'm going to go and do that now. Just did a good thing. I don't regret this thing at all. So I bit the bullet and I got Orbit's upgrade. And I think I paid for this in a local pet store. £139, which may sound like a lot, and it is a lot, but... Online these go for about 230-ish pounds, so I got a bit of a bargain. Not much, but better than nothing. <laughs> so this is probably gonna take me like a month, maybe two months, to make the background, make it bioactive, and actually figure out what I'm doing because I've never really done anything like this before, and I'm really not entirely sure what I'm doing, so don't expect to see a video on this anytime soon. Here is Hubble next to it for size reference, and he is a pretty big cat, so it is definitely a big upgrade for her compared to what she's in, and I'm just really excited, so I just wanted to show you that I bought it, but it's gonna be a while before you actually see this in action because I need to figure out what I'm doing and try to do it. I am surrounded by so much pet stuff at the moment. You can't see the chaos going on behind the camera, but I went a bit crazy this month and I bought everything that I've wanted to for the pets. I think what happened is obviously the last year or so, I've just been saving like crazy to buy this house. And now that we don't really have that goal to work towards, I just went a bit crazy and bought everything. So I obviously bought things for Hubble's birthday and then I bought things to upgrade Orbit and also my snail slushie all at the same time. So there is just like reptile and invertebrate stuff all over the place and I have nowhere to put it. But I've been able to do this way sooner than I thought I could just because of your support and also the support of sponsors on the channel, just like Skillshare, who I worked with last year, they've asked to partner with me again for this video. 
So if you're not familiar, Skillshare is an online learning platform for creative people to take the next step in their creative journey. Whether you're a beginner all the way up to a professional, you can either pick up a new skill or improve one that you've been wanting to work on. When you become a Skillshare member, you have unlimited access to thousands and thousands of classes and also helpful feedback from a community of millions of people. I'm sure many of you watching aren't just interested in animals, you probably have many other interests and hobbies, things like art, illustration, photography, baking, cooking, whatever it is, I'm sure there is a class for you on Skillshare. One class that I've been taking since we moved here is this class on indoor gardening by Ekta. I got a bit overexcited when we moved here and I just bought a bunch of houseplants because we finally had the space. I just bought ones that I thought was pretty but I didn't really consider their individual care requirements and I quickly realised I still don't know the first thing about caring for plants. This class has really helped me learn which plants will be suitable for which places in the house and also how much their watering and lighting needs really can differ. After taking this class I feel better equipped to take better care of my plants and select the right plants for the right space and know when to water them and also when to not water them because I've been guilty of overwatering my plants in the past and we're not going to do that this time. Skillshare has been made specifically with your learning in mind so if you have a terrible attention span like I do then there's no adverts on the classes that can direct your attention elsewhere, you can really focus in on your class and they're always adding new classes to the website, so if you've done a few classes already, there may be some new ones already on Skillshare that you've not seen before to take your skills further. So if you would like to give Skillshare a try, they're giving you guys access to a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership that is only available to first a thousand people that click the link in my description, and that is only for a month trial, but during that whole month you get access to everything Skillshare has to offer, and I think that's plenty of time to pick up a new skill. If you do join Skillshare and use their free trial, please let me know in the comments what kind of hobbies or skills you're going to be working on. I get asked all the time what hobbies I have besides animals, and the answer to that is not enough. I have tried so many hobbies over the years that I've abandoned because I just don't have the time for them, and I really want to get back into those, so I'm getting into my plants. I really also want to try doing more baking, I might do that over the next few months so please let me know what kind of hobbies you're going to work on and what do you think that I should try. But thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this month's vlog, I'm going to crack on now and try to finish organising these pet supplies and find somewhere to put them. So I'm not going to do a big haul because you'll see everything in their designated videos but we have got Orbit's enclosure which compared to the other one which is up there is way bigger especially once it's on the rack. And then I've just organised all of these supplies into these bins from Argos. This one is pretty much most of Orbit stuff that will fit in here. We've got natural decor, like leaves and seed pods, and then some more hides and hydro fleece because we are going to go bioactive. And then in this one we've just got like supplements and stuff. This one is Slushy's designated box. Not really much going on, we've just got his cuttlefish and plastic plant pots which I probably need to get a bigger size because he's growing like crazy and also a bigger heat map for when he has a bigger enclosure but these are just going to be much better for putting all of the reptile stuff in and I can't really put an enclosure on this level because the rats will just bother whoever goes in that so everything is going to go like from here upwards and this is just going to be storage but way less stuff on the floor I'm just waiting on a few more things before I can start this enclosure, and then the snail enclosure, but we're getting there. Which one of you broke the Sputnik that I literally just bought last month? I think I know who it was. You, because you're the heaviest. Was it you? Or was it a joint effort? Now you have to have it on the floor, because it fell off. Can we just appreciate pudding as coat? He is the rexiest rex I've ever had, and he's like a little sheep.
sleeping there? <laughs> Why are you so weird? You can't sleep there, darling. You're giving me a heart attack. Wakey, wakey. Come on, wake up. Why are you sleeping like you're dead? <laughs> are you okay? So I'm just off to check my peer box and I just wanted to quickly mention that I did check it last month, I just completely forgot to film anything. I just really wanted to say thank you if you sent anything in like June, July time because I did get everything, although I wouldn't know if I didn't get something because it wouldn't be there, but I think I got everything and I did get a really lovely painting as well as some other bits from, I think you want to remain anonymous, but I did get everything, it's still in storage because I'm waiting for like shelves and stuff to be put up in here to display stuff, but I think I got everything in my PO box. I just completely forgot in all the chaos to film that part of the vlog, but I promise from now on I'm gonna be better with that and I'm off to check it at the moment. And I just went to the garden center, oh my gosh, I can't get it. And I got some live plants for Orbit's Bioactive Enclosure. So hopefully that video won't be too far off. Um, I got quite a few plants, so I'm just gonna go and check my PO box and I will report back when I'm back. I got some really lovely letters and drawings from you guys. I'm gonna have to dig out my artwork folder, which I think is pretty much almost full, um, and stick these ones in as well. But I just feel like it's really nice. I know it probably sounds really cliche to like put a face, well not a face, but a story and pictures of your rats and pictures of your setups and things like that. Put a story to the names that I see in the comments all the time because I do recognize a lot of your usernames and I just think it's really special. So I love opening up and reading your letters. I literally rip open the envelopes as soon as I get in the car from my PO box place. So if the people there are watching me open these up, they probably think I'm really weird because I'm just sat in my car smiling to myself, but thank you for everything you've sent. Um, I will go and get my folder out of storage and stick all of your drawings and stuff and your letters in there with the rest of them. I might have to buy a second one because it is getting pretty full, so thank you so much. Look at this, it's a tiny felt meadow made by Friendly Felting on Instagram. Thank you, this is so cute. Also, can we just appreciate this doodle? <laughs> oh, to be a mouse riding on the back of a snail. So I'm just in the garage to get the spare rat cage because I need to set it up ready for Whisper's Neuter tomorrow. And if you hoard rat cages like I do, that you maybe use once, twice a year, but you still need them for like hospital cages and introductions, where do you put them? Because they don't really stack that well together and they take up a big chunk of the garage. So we're not really supposed to use our loft and put stuff in for like a year or so, I think. So they're just kind of sitting in the garage and taking up space, but Regardless, let me know where you store all of your extra rat cages. Ignore this massive bag of bedding. But I need to grab this one because it's a decent size for a hospital cage. It's not too tall, so he's not gonna injure himself. And this is like my designated hospital cage. So I'm gonna take this inside and set this up. Ready for his neuter tomorrow. So it is the next day now, the day after Whisper's Neuter, and everything went well, everything went as planned. He seems completely unfazed by the entire thing. He seemed to really, really love our vet, so I guess I couldn't have asked for it to go any better. He seems to be in really good spirits. 
he's taking his pain medication and he just seems to be wanting to do normal rat things which is good so he is doing really well two days no a day after the operation and you really couldn't tell that he's had anything done he's not bothering his wound which is good and he's being a really good boy and taking his medication so far i don't want to jinx it but he is being really good and yeah he's just in good spirits Obviously things could change, it is only the second day and I am keeping a very close eye on him and giving him pain medication but I'm going to have to stop this vlog here because I do need to get it up but I will start next month's vlog exactly where I end this one and update you in the next month so thank you guys so much for watching, Whisper is doing good, he's come out the other end perfectly fine which is all I could ask for. So I just wanted to add a quick disclaimer, that yes he's back in with Twix and he's been living with Twix the entire time that he's been separated from the other boys and if you have a rat that's aggressive to every single rat they come across I would not recommend doing this but I think because they are litter mates and they are biological brothers he's never shown him the same levels of aggression he's been a bit pushy here and there but he's never attacked him or gone on a rampage like he did with the other boys so I felt fairly confident putting him back in with him of course I was cautious and I watched them very very carefully because Sometimes after neutering they can have a surge of hormones and be extra aggressive but Whisper was completely fine, he accepted him back straight away and they've been fine together so that saves him four to six weeks of being by himself which if I can avoid that then I'm going to because it's not nice for him to be alone for that length of time before he can go back into the group which hopefully should be, maybe not in the next vlog but the one after that, hopefully we can get them all back together. But that is it for this month's vlog, don't forget to check out Skillshare in the description and get your free one month trial and also a big big thank you to my channel members, I put the names of the rat here on screen, thank you for your continued support, I will get Whisper something nice for his recovery with your support, um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.